Congressman, Speaker Johnson, God bless him, and the House GOP reportedly working through this weekend with Democrats to come to an agreement on the four appropriations bills needed to avert a shutdown. We've done this four different times, right? We keep on pushing, you know, kicking the can down the road. Have you actually seen this plan yourself, and do you think it's going to work? So, no, I mean, I haven't seen the plan yet. We we understand that it's some sort of short-term extension uh, to the current budget, so we avert a shutdown. I mean, look, unfortunately, this is just chaos, more chaos, and more chaos over and over again. Uh, we've had a chance to do the right thing on multiple occasions, but Speaker Johnson has no control of his Republican caucus. He continues to listen to the extreme right-wing fringe that control uh, the current Republican Party in Congress. And so I have no confidence that we're actually going to get anything done. Uh, extreme, extreme conservatives keep trying to insert all sorts of real crazy ideas into our budget process around access to women's reproductive health, around discriminating LGBTQ plus people. And so time and time again, Speaker Johnson has shown us that he cannot control and deliver for the American people. And so we're waiting to see what this plan actually looks like. I'm hopeful that we can obviously avert a shutdown. There are millions of jobs at stake and millions of people that depend on services. Yes, and we also just got word a short time ago, the body of Alexei Navalny has been handed over to his mother. It comes after Biden levied more than 500 sanctions against Russia and on the two-year anniversary of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Congressman, do you think these sanctions will have any effect? And more importantly, do you think the House can actually finally agree on a plan to send necessary aid to Ukraine? I mean, obviously, I support um, the president's approach here, uh, but but let's be real clear: we are in, we are in a very dangerous situation as it relates to Ukraine, and essentially, uh, much of the um, extremists in Congress bending the knee to Putin. Uh, we have a serious situation in Ukraine and in Eastern Europe. We have a democracy that needs our support and help. We cannot leave them out to dry. Uh, Putin continues to engage, continues to pummel Ukraine, uh, and we cannot get a national security. Security package on to the House floor because Mike Johnson once again continues to listen to whatever Donald Trump orders him to do. We know that Ukraine needs our support now. We need to vote on that funding immediately. And we've heard that we are in a situation, we are weeks away from, ser from causing serious damage to this effort. And so uh, we are urging Mike Johnson to bring forward the Ukraine funding package immediately onto the House floor. The president has done so as well. And why we're listening to Donald Trump and why we are su essentially supporting Putin's war is completely lunacy to me. So it's time to vote to support Ukraine today. And while the Republicans' chaos caucus continues to control House Republicans, Republicans continue to waste Americans' time and money. I have to put this tweet up that you did. I love it. This is the next star witness for the House Republicans on their fruitless quest to impeach President Joe Biden. We have to talk about Alexander Smirnoff, the GOP star witness now accused and being indicted of lying under oath to the federal government. The FBI also saying that Smirnoff has proven ties to Russian intelligence officials. I mean, Congressman, it's, it's their playbook, right? You, you just throw something on the wall, you slander people along the way, you have zero evidence, you hope something sticks, and yet look what's happened, right? Chinese whistleblower, uh, you know, you've got Smirnoff, you've got Devin Archer says no, Biden didn't do anything to help Hunter. I mean, it's just never ending. Why can they not get out of their own way and actually help Americans? I mean, this whole thing is such a scam. I mean, it's unbelievable uh, the, the level of, at this point, of joke this whole impeachment process has become. And you're absolutely right, Katie. We've got Chinese spies. We've got Russian intelligence. We've got discredited witnesses. I mean, you literally couldn't make this up for a movie. And, and now, we, of course, we know, and this is really serious, that a Russian intelligence has likely directly been involved with evidence collection the Republicans are now using for this impeachment scam. And so we have serious questions. What does James Comer know? When did he know it? Why is he possibly working with Russian intelligence, at least their information, to damage the president? And I think the reason why this is all falling apart is, as you said, there is zero evidence linking President Biden to any sort of wrongdoing. There is nothing there. But why do they continue to scramble? Why do they continue to push all these tinfoil hat conspiracy theories? It's because Donald Trump 
is ordering them to do so. All this is about is trying to damage President Biden and his reelection uh, opportunity. And we also know that, once again, this is Russian election interference. And so we've got to be honest yeah. about what's happening yes. here and push back forcefully.